एच सी मम्मा चैप्टर ट्वेंटी नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन टू पार्टिकल्स ए एंड बी हैविंग अपोजिट चार्जेस टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स कुलम एंड माइनस टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स कुलम्स आर प्लेस एट द सेपरेशन ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर ए राइट डाउन द इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस पेयर बी कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट अ पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सेस ऑफ द डाइपोल वन सेंटीमीटर अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर सी कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट अ पॉइंट ऑन द पपेन्यूक्लो बाइसेक्टर ऑफ द डाइपोल वन मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर Electric dipole is given by charge into distance. That is, two into ten to the power minus six into zero point zero one. That is, two into ten to the power minus eight coulomb meter. This is answer to part A of the question. For part B, the distance of the point where electric field is to be calculated is one centimeter from the center. This distance is equal to the distance between the two charges. Formula for electric field due to dipoles can be applied only when the distance between the point is very large when compared to the distances between the charges. At comparable distances, we have to use Coulomb's law to find the field. At this point, the electric field due to positive charge will be towards left and due to negative charge will be towards right. The net electric field will be the differences of these two fields. Since the positive charge is at a distance of d by two from the point, electric field due to positive charge is k q divided by d by two whole square. Negative charge is at a distance of three d by two from the point, so the electric field due to negative charge is k q divided by three d by two whole square. So the net electric field is k q by d by two whole square minus k q by three d by two whole square. Simplifying, we get E is equal to four k q by d square minus four k q by nine d square. That is 32 kq by 9d square. Putting the values, we get 32 into 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 9 into 0.1 square. Simplifying, we get E is equal to 6.4 into 10 to the power 8 volts per meter. This is the answer to part B of the question. This answer is different from what is given in the book. The answer in the book is wrong. You will get the answer of the book if the point is at a distance of one meter instead of one centimeter. In that case, the distance is very large compared to the distance between the charges, and hence we can use the formula for electric field of dipoles. On a point on the axis, electric field due to dipole is given by two kp divided by r cube. Putting the values, we get two into nine into ten to the power nine into two into ten to the power minus eight divided by one, that is three sixty volts per meter. In part C, the point is at a distance of one meter on equatorial plane of the dipole. Formula of electric field in that case is Kp by r cube. Putting the values, we get nine into ten to the power nine into two into ten to the power minus eight divided by one. That is one eighty volts per meter. This is the answer to part C of the question. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.